Now, last time she was here, we had a great time talking about why she founded The Honest Company. Today, we're going to talk about everything that's happened since then, and it's been a lot. We've got both founders here, Jessica Alba and Christopher Jackson. <laughs> a seat. I feel like so much has happened since the last time you were here and we talked a little bit about where you wanted The Honest Company to go and I think you've hit those goals. But let's start in the beginning. How did you two meet each other? How did you start working together? We met uh, actually at the launch of Christopher's book. Okay. Way I, back when. Yeah. Way back. I was, um, I think, I think we, I was 27. Yes. And eight months pregnant. Right, okay. And with your my book, first kid. With your first. Yeah. Your book was all about products and safety. Yeah, it's all about creating healthier environments and what are the potential toxic threats or chemicals of concern in and around us. Yeah. And then what do you do about it? And oftentimes, just like Jessica did, parents would come to me and say, what do I buy? Yeah. And I would really throw my hands up or throw them around the globe and there wasn't one source or one trusted place they could go to. What that, I mean, what a relationship made in heaven because you had, well, you were pregnant at the time, you now have two daughters, you've got four kids, yeah. Christopher. So for you, you had a rash situation, which is why you needed to create these products. Right? Well, I had a, a rash to, um, and an aller a, a real allergic reaction to a laundry detergent that my mother recommended that I use yeah. um, on my, my baby clothes. Okay. Um, and after I had this reaction, I did lots of research and I learned that there are lots of untested, potentially harmful chemicals in everyday products in your home. Mm -hmm. And I just was never really aware of it because I never read a label or cared about ingredients before I was pregnant. Right. And that's usually the moment of awakening for most people is when they have a new little baby coming into the world they're like now reading labels and they care about what's what's going in their body and also what's in their environment because the assumption you make as a parent is if this is if being you can buy marketed, it off the shelf it's got to be it's safe it's got to be okay yeah. for and them. That's, that's just really not the case it's not the case um, and so the number one thing i think which is the big differentiator between the honest company and um, and other products out there that are available is, first of all, we're really effective, but we don't use any synthetic fragrances. Right. And there's a lot of uh, reactions that people can get from the from fragrance. Yeah. Well, I was t telling Christopher off camera that my husband is addicted to your dishwashing liquid. Oh, He's nice. like, it makes me calm. I'm like, okay, we need more of that. So whatever makes him calm, I need more Lavender, of. Lavender essential oils. It's lavender, but yeah. it's all natural, safe, <laughs> yeah. but it right? works. And it, and it gets the grease off the pans, which yes. is the most important thing. That's the most important thing. <laughs> yeah. So I want to talk about just managing your families um, and having this business that it's growing and growing year after year. Have you found that you need more help now uh, in, in your home life to make I this happen? I feel like I need two or three of me. Yeah. Yeah. At least. Most days I'm like, can I just be cloned? Um, <laughs> I, I feel extra tired, Yeah. but at the same time really satisfied because I do feel like when we go to work every day, um, we're doing something meaningful, and we we both feel really good about so about putting in the hours. Um, and you, when you found a company, you're not really you don't turn off. It's not a nine to five. Yeah. It's like a twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. um, but it is important to unplug on the weekends and give our kids that like one on one dedicated time. Do you have any tips for doing that, Christopher? How about you? Because I think a lot of us, we carry our work with us. Yeah. How do you actually unplug from the matrix and you focus on Thomas the Train? <laughs> like, how do you do that? Do you have tips for us? I, I have a little basket in my kitchen that when I walk into the house, I place my phone there and mm. I don't pick it up. It, it, it's you. a discipline that I have to do. On Sunday, I try to have that be an electronic free day. Yes. For me, so the kids don't see me with my phone on and or, or near me. It's hard, very hard. It's hard. Uh, especially because my mom wants me to call her. Of course. Um, <laughs> you call your mama. Um, but it's, but if, it does take discipline, as Jessica said. You, yeah. This is another child for us, and we love it, and we're so passionate about it, and really building a brand that our children can work at someday and be super proud of. Yeah. So they, they're involved in the, in the business and brand. They're helping us create sense. They're coming into the office and seeing um, yeah. the business and sitting in meetings. So it's really great, and it's part of the family. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And 
they can see they can see the business. I mean, it's great for kids to see their parents doing things like this. Yeah. The biggest challenges you faced having this company. Um, what would you say they've been, or the things that you've struggled with? I think getting the team together initially to launch. Um, we launched with a concept that had never existed before. Mm -hmm. You know, it really is a healthy lifestyle brand. It's for ethical consumers, people who really care about what is going in their homes, in and around their bodies, um, and uh, it, it really was a, is a brand for millennials and and the future, mm -hmm. or people who are connected online, and uh, and it hadn't been done before so getting the right team of people to execute yeah. was the most challenging I think. Yeah it, it, and, and bringing them together around a vision and a purpose with and and, and raw ingredients with integrity all yeah. these things take time and focus and it's it's really knowing when to slow down in order to hurry up and slowing down and being careful and thoughtful about choices in the business and strategy. Right. So I would say that is, has always been the hardest is starting the business, getting yeah, it up and getting going. getting it up and running. When you're starting something from scratch, for sure, you have that, you have to basically create the mold, yeah. right? Yeah. I love the fact that there is a sort of philanthropy also related with the Honest Company. So you've do donated over 5 million products and over 11,000 employee participation hours through your Honest to Goodness program. Mm -hmm. Love to hear that about companies and I love to hear that all of the products are safe.